Well, here we go again, and God bless you, and it's good to be with you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Now we call on you today, Lord, to help us uh, on our way to salvation in Jesus' name. Today's topic is the spoiler. Uh, the spoiler's plan is simple. Create a hybrid race and uh, eliminate the human one. And he is hard at work on, on, on that right now. Well, that's not the only thing, but uh, that's one of them. <laughs> and if he eliminates us, uh, it's pretty well toast for us, isn't it? But God won't let that happen. Uh, now, there has always been uh, rebellion, even before the human race was created. Also, uh, has, there, uh, has there been many other creations through the eons of time. It didn't just start with Adam. Uh, whom we call the whom we call the Creator, God the Father, the I Am, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the Almighty, the indescribable one, the Word, and even the Holy Spirit, all being the same Spirit. For God is spirit. Uh, this is why we must worship him in spirit and truth. In John 14, 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive uh, because he, because it sees him not, uh, neither knows him, but you know him, for he dwells in you, and and he, he shall be in you. Now, <clears throat> that is the Holy Ghost. That is the spirit of Jesus Christ himself. That's what that is. In Ephesians one uh, thirteen, in whom you also trusted, that means you believed, after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and in, in, in whom also after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is, again, uh, the indwelling spirit of Jesus Christ. Uh, in 1 John 5, 6, uh, this is he that, uh, that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, uh, not by water only, but by, but by water and blood. And he is uh, the spirit that bears witness uh, because the spirit is truth. Now, uh, if you want to look that up, I mean, I'm giving you the scriptures. Uh, John 4, 24 God uh, is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, now, the only way to worship him uh, in spirit uh, is to have him dwelling in you, uh, this being the indwelling spirit of Jesus Christ, which is the Holy Ghost. The, Father plan, uh, the Father's plan has always been to cl a close and intimate relationship with you. Now, I'm not going to go into every detail uh, because uh, this thing's going to be long anyway. And if I did, uh, uh, it would be several hours. And I don't know about you, but I can't just sit around for a couple hours. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> so uh, dwelling in you and observing uh, your life and, and discovering and discoveries uh, through your eyes. Uh, that's what he wanted to do uh, was uh, to dwell in you. And be a part of your life, and and uh, you, and he would just be like an observer. But we needed him, and when we need him, we could call on him, and uh, that's and we can do that now when you're filled. Uh, this has never been uh, the plan for the hosts of heaven uh, created eons before we uh, were created. Well, I cannot tell you the full scope of, uh, of the Father's plan. Uh, we can have understanding of the heavenly plan. Uh, many civilizations have come and gone. Uh, many were created by gods, little little G's, that our Father created, the big G. Yet because they uh, they are not the Father uh, of all creation, mistakes have been made. Even these gods, little G. Uh, created uh, beings to love and cherish, just like our Father does. 
uh, to watch them grow and always uh, be a part of their of, of their lives. Uh, yet this has always failed uh, because after many years of, of growing and learning, they were no longer dependent on the gods, little G's, who created them because there, uh, there was no final plan for them. Uh, uh, once they developed beyond the reach of, uh, of those gods, uh, they, were, they were destroyed and they, were, uh, and they would begin again and again and again. Uh, now the father of all creation, uh, we know, see and hear uh, his word, which is uh, Jesus Christ being also our savior. I could put plenty of scriptures in here, but I'm not going to. I mean, there's just too much. Uh, the throne of God uh, was created uh, that the hosts of heaven uh, could become, could come to the Father, and uh, and to tell him uh, the things that they uh, they had seen and done. I see they did things uh, and and created things, they invented things, and then they would come at certain times. At appointed times, and uh, they would uh, tell uh, the ultimate father, and uh, they would come to his throne and tell him all about it. And that was the way that was. And uh, but the Lord wanted uh, something deeper, you know. And uh, because uh, uh, we're, we're, uh, all, everything was created for His great pleasure. Uh, beside, before that, he was completely alone. It was just only him. Now, uh, <clears throat> from time to time, even even those uh, gods reported to the, to the one true God, the Creator of all things. He called them the sons of God, uh, yet they were immortal beings. He created them that way. Now, only certain creatures. Uh, uh, which uh, which our 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 father created can be close to the father now like a cherubim a seraphim they're closer than the, even the archangels and lucifer being the closest even hovering over the throne of god cuz he was a cherubim now uh, now just as mankind uh, uh, finds new ways to of doing the same thing as we develop uh, new inventions to improve uh, on how we uh, how we do things, also were the sons of God improving as time passed, and they were inventing things. Even the father uh, thought to have uh, a closer relationship with uh, with his creation as time uh, as time passed. It was then he created man and called him Adam. Of course, he created Adam and Eve. But he still called him Adam. Uh, he placed him uh, in the garden and uh, uh, fellowshiped with him in the cool of the evenings. In Genesis uh, 2.9, And out of the ground the Lord God uh, formed uh, every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them into, uh, unto Adam uh, to see what uh, he would call them. And uh, whatsoever Adam called uh, every every living creature, that was the name thereof. Now jealousy arose in, in heaven, uh, for man uh, fellowshiped with the Father more than all the hosts of heaven. For it was uh, daily in the garden; he was daily in the garden in the cool of the uh, of the day, walking with Adam. Now the indescribable creator, the omnipresent spirit, created a throne uh, for all the hosts of heaven uh, to come and share uh, what they had, uh, had been up to uh, uh, with the Father. Now I've already said that, but uh, this throne is where the word of God sets, he being Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's who they report to. Uh, who is both King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Now I uh, now I will use the name Jesus uh, so that it's easier to understand who who sits on the throne. For it uh, it is Jesus who is uh, who is the Word of God 
and of course that's uh, you can look at John 1 1 and that it tells you that and of course uh, Isaiah 45 21 and and on and on in 2nd Corinthians uh, 18 18 again uh, he said therefore hear the word of the Lord I sh uh, I saw the Lord sitting uh, upon his throne and all the host of heaven standing on uh, on his right hand and on his left. At Revelations 4:11, uh, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast uh, created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. You see that we're created for His pleasure. Now He created all the animals for our pleasure. And all the things that are on the earth, he did that for us. So otherwise it would just be dirt, nothing else. In Revelation 4.11, uh, yeah, well, I already read that one. <laughs> now because uh, uh, Satan thinks he can uh, ascend his throne above the th uh, throne of God, that he fights uh, to destroy all of creation which Jesus made, uh, for his uh, for his great pleasure. Now the word of God, who is Jesus, stood up from from his throne to come and redeem mankind back to uh, full fellowship with him. Because we really fell into darkness. And of course, uh, when uh, when Jesus was murdered uh, on the cross, uh, the throne was empty for three days. Now this this is by far not the first time Satan has tried to ascend to great heights above the stars of, of God. Uh, but this time he was able to murder Christ, and 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 thought to take uh, his throne. Yet our your, our Lord laid his life down uh, for you uh, to have a way of salvation. He could never have been murdered uh, if he had not allowed it to, uh, for for our sakes. Satan, Satan is working feverishly to uh, to ascend to to that throne, yet it will never be uh, attainable to him. Satan doesn't understand uh, who God is. <laughs> he just doesn't know, uh, or, or he's that stupid. I'm not sure which, or he deceived himself, because you cannot. Uh, 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 well, uh, you know, a ball is not uh, is made by man. That ball is not uh, not greater than a man, nor can it ever be. And that's where Satan is. Uh, Satan understands not that the throne is only there that that we uh, we be able to have fellowship with the Father. One could say uh, a a point of contact and uh, uh, interaction. It is not his seat, nor does he need one. For all things exist in him, and without him nothing exists. Now I hope that's clear. Okay. He doesn't need a throne. But he, he created a throne so that we could interact with him. Otherwise we couldn't interact with him. So how can, uh, how can one ascend outside uh, of the creator himself with uh, uh, which all things exist in. Now there were uh, there were worlds uh, before uh, before us who created many things and invented new things. This is why uh, uh, they are so far above us, for they have uh, invented many things. E e Ecclesiastics uh, one nine. Uh, the things that have been. Uh, it is uh, that which uh, shall be, and that which uh, is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun, and that's the reason for that. That's the reason for that scripture to tell you that. Uh, he tells us not to be uh, call ourselves inventors because uh, we're we're more rediscoverers, which I allude to here. And Ecclesiastes 1, 1, 9 also, uh, the things that hath been, uh, okay. So we shall, uh, shall we not, uh, so, uh, 
So we shall not call ourselves inventors, but rather rediscoverers. Now, uh, now I am uh, I am trying not to make this too long, uh, but uh, there is so much to cover. Uh, to have a, a picture of what is uh, transpiring around us. Now you can say something one way, and then say the same thing another way, and the light can come on. And that's what uh, that's the purpose of this to get your light to come on so that you can understand who you are and who you can become and 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 what uh, and what God's plan is for you and 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 that you're you're being fought and trying to be destroyed to keep you from attaining that and there's a battle going on for your life now we should already have uh, uh, know that Satan fell because of his uh, own rage at uh, at being passed over, uh, just as you would be, uh, you know, if you were, uh, uh, you know, had your eyes on uh, being the head man, and uh, and you got passed over, and they brought they brought a new man off the street and put him over in charge of you. Uh, for we were created to be a little higher uh, than all the sons of God who dwell here on earth and in the heavens. And one day we will uh, even judge uh, them uh, for their actions. Now in 1 Corinthians 6.3, Know ye not that ye shall judge angels, um, whom are the sons of God? Uh, some of the... Uh, <clears throat> Some of the ways that Satan tries to destroy humanity, call him Satan, I call him the spoiler, uh, same, same thing, he's uh, evil, it is through hybrids, half men, half animal, through tampering with DNA, which he did even before the flood, and many other means, uh, even so, uh, ever since man's uh, creation. Now, through the centuries, uh, women have given uh, themselves over to those sons of God who, who are, are, are devils. Uh, for once they uh, cross the line and corrupt mankind, they are no longer sons of God, but, uh, but devils. Now, in Genesis uh, 6-2, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Now, these are immortal beings uh, which had children of human women. Uh, these were destroyed in the flood, most of them. But because they, were, they had immortal fathers, uh, they, uh, their spirits do not die. Uh, these the Lord calls demons uh, who roam the earth and, 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 uh, and, and space uh, uh, looking uh, to live again. Part of the abduction phenomena is uh, is breeding to supply these demons with bodies to live in. Uh, there are so many different things going on that uh, that a novel, uh, a very large one, would need to be written uh, to totally clarify this uh, uh, of the subjects. Uh, so, so there is a battle going on uh, that uh, for your uh, for your very existence. The Georgia Guidestone uh, in Georgia tells uh, tells only a part of uh, of this agenda, and it tells of the reduction of the population uh, to a, a mere uh, uh, millions rather than billions. Wiping out uh, all of humanity is the final goal. Yet many uh, set uh, set in play with their their phones and TV games and are. Uh, uh, unaware of the battle uh, for their very life. Now, when God said he loves uh, all of his creation, he's, he is talking about the sons of God also. His heart breaks seeing some of them uh, turn from him and follow Satan. Even more so does he, uh, the Lord hate that, that man does not cry out to him. That would be you. Uh, for he forms each of us uh, in the womb and, and places a soul in that body with loving care. Uh, this is why things uh, uh, created by man and devils 
have no souls, for only he can create a living soul. You must have a soul to be redeemed, for there is no salvation for any uh, other being that, uh, that were created. And that means that all the creations that man has created and, and living and that they're tampering with right now today, creating hybrids and all, and all that the Satans and the devils and the, uh, are, are creating uh, will uh, perish. There's no redemption for them. Now we should understand that uh, some, uh, sometimes people must wait uh, in prison till they are, are judged and either set free or given punishment uh, for their trespasses. The very same thing is true uh, for those who uh, trespass of the sons of God. For many are standing in darkness, waiting for their judgment, which the saints will judge. This is why it's important for us to uh, be overcomers and to go through things. And uh, the Lord tells us to uh, uh, that to count it all joy, the things that we go through, because we learn from that, and we have understanding. And that gives us knowledge on how to judge others who have gone through the same thing, whether it be uh, angelic or whether it be uh, here on earth, a human, and, uh, and other beings. There's other beings here, too. And uh, there's the, there's, if we have no knowledge, we have no street smarts. If you have no street smarts, then you have no knowledge, uh, just like you would be a, 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 a country boy coming to a city uh, and, and trying to make it. Uh, he might make it, but he could make it a whole lot easier if he had the, the street smarts of one that grew up there and had the understanding uh, to do this and to do that. So I hope I made that clear enough. Uh, now, the spoiler has been hard at work trying to destroy all of mankind, and, uh, and right now it looks uh, very grim for humanity. For those who have been uh, deceived are in high places, and uh, there's many there, uh, helping the spoiler uh, to complete his goal, which has uh, never been attainable, nor never will be. For the great deceiver has uh, deceived even himself. Now God's judgment uh, uh, judgments are, are are always just, and and in Egypt uh, also He judged uh, uh, when He judged uh, Egypt uh, for for its evil uh, towards uh, the Jewish people. He also judged their uh, their gods, the little g, who who are are fallen angels or devils. Uh, in First Peter four six uh, for. For this cause uh, was the gospel preached unto uh, to them that, that are dead, that they might be uh, judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the, in the spirit. Now, he went in, well, let me just continue. Now, this was, uh, was done during the three days of the, the Lord was in the earth. Uh, for the, from the clock, cross to, to the resurrection, he ascended into the earth uh, to speak to those uh, who were asleep. For until then, uh, to, uh, for until he came, there was no redemption. Uh, now I was, uh, now I will not be getting into the in, into the details of this, uh, for much of uh, uh, has been covered already uh, in other videos, uh, because it would make this thing so long that uh, uh, I don't know if I could step through it either. So I will end this here, and I'm not, not going to end it immediately. I mean, I still got a couple more pages yet. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm trying to get you to understand uh, uh, what's going on. So, and this is what the Lord is wanting me to do. So that's, uh, you know, that's what I'm doing. So I will end this here and, and pray that you, uh, you have uh, been given enough to understand there is a battle going on for your soul and even for your eternal life. Whether to live in the kingdom of God and, and, and be joint heirs with him, uh, even sitting on, the, on his throne uh, with him, or the fate of uh, Satan uh, in, in his end, 
where he will be frozen to the walls of hell and there will be uh, uh, there he will be given little notice uh, the choice is yours. Uh, come now and be born of water and spirit that, that, that you may enter into the straight gates of heaven. In Matthew 7, 13, enter into the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be which uh, would go therein. Uh, they, you can tell by the way people are uh, now, uh, or you should be able to. Of course, uh, the media is uh, quiet about everything, but we're getting very close, and uh, I can't go into all that now. There's just not enough time, but, uh, uh, man, you need to draw close to God because you're going to need him. In Revelation 3.21, and you can avoid it if you come now. You can avoid the tribulation. Uh, to him that overcomes will I grant to sit, at, uh, sit with me in my throne. And even as I also overcame and am sat down with my father in, the, in his throne. But to those who wait uh, and do not uh, come, now your reward will be less. Know, you, know that your reward will be for, for through. Uh, for though you may uh, achieve salvation through the grace of Jesus, you will not sit on his throne. Revelation 7, 14. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. This was an angel. And he said unto me. This was John he's talking to. Uh, These are, are they uh, which came out of the great tribulation and, and have washed their robes and made them white uh, in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that uh, sits on the throne shall dwell with them. As you see, they will be servants in the house of the Lord. Big difference. See the reward difference? And there's others. But uh, I wanted to show you that. Uh, they shall hunger no more, neither th neither thirst any more. I mean, they'll they'll have a pleasant life. Neither shall the sun light on them, uh, nor any heat, for the Lamb which is in the midst of the of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them into living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. So it's not a, a bad existence. It's just not the higher plane that you can achieve. Uh, therefore, let us come now, uh, for now is the greater reward. In 2 Corinthians 6, 2, uh, For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The spoiler is making many advances uh, to keep you from finding your way. Uh, yet the Lord Jesus is sending messengers to know to show you uh, that way. And one of them is right here. Will you come? Uh, I sure hope you're getting the message. Your chance to sit with Jesus uh, in his throne is now. Repent and be baptized uh, uh, and in the name of Jesus Christ. And while in prayer, ask him to fill you with the Holy Ghost, this being your seal to the kingdom of God. Father, guide us to everlasting life in you, in Jesus' name. Now, come now, will you have a chance to, to have the greater reward? So let us pray. If anyone has a need, uh, let us ask right now, believing in Jesus' name. So, Father, we come to you now for every need, for every heart uh, to tenderize it and to draw them closer to you. In Jesus' name. 
All righty. Well, God bless you. And uh, until next time.